Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria 1.4.1 Let's Play. Do hope you guys are having a fantastic day, thank you so much once again for all of the amazing support you guys have been showing this series. I truly do appreciate it. If we could keep it up with all the beautiful support, that would be lovely. And before we get into anything else today, my friends, I want to go ahead and share with you guys a short message from my sponsors over at Apex Gaming PCs. If you're looking to buy a new gaming PC, look no further. I teamed up with Apex PCs to create The Crafter, my very own branded PC. With three tiers to choose from, Iron, Gold, and Diamond, you're sure to find a spec that will fit your needs and your budget. Each tier also has customizable options, so the possibilities are endless. Check out amexgamingpcs.co slash python to see our range of PCs. So here we are, guys. We have Willy the Traveling Merchant. What have you got for me today? Meet me behind Tanner's house in about three hours. I think I may have something you'll find very appealing. Um, I'm not entirely sure that's actually a thing. But hey ho, it's all good. What have we got? We got a cape. Awesome. We got a celestial magnet. Awesome. A lawn flamingo. I mean, yeah, I'm hella gonna buy that. <laughs> it's just a nice thing to have, isn't it? The only thing I've really done since the last episode, by the way, guys, is I've gone ahead and made a bunch of pumpkin pie from being in front of the furnace. You can make 10 pumpkins into a pumpkin pie. And as you can see, medium improvements to all stats. So very, very nice generic thing to have at all times, I would say. Uh, in addition to that, I've gone ahead and organized all of my inventories. And yeah, basically... Things are looking good. We've got armor and health in the nurse's house. We've got fishing related stuff. I mean, there is no fishing related stuff just yet, but we're going to have fishing related stuff in this house here. And then up here, ladies and gentlemen, we have buff potions and potion ingredients. So finally, we have ourselves all this beautiful stuff that we can make. Iron skin potions, magical potions, spelunker potions, all sorts of amazing stuff, my friends. I'd love to ideally get to the point where I could just make every single potion in the entire game you know things like gravitation potions and all sorts of other stuff there's just so many potions you can make in the game now it's pretty insane isn't it we've got so much gold my friends you know what i'm gonna make it all into bars and see what is going down i'm pretty sure yeah wait did they or didn't they? I'm pretty damn sure that they actually nerfed the amount of gold needed to be able to make gold armor. I think the same goes for platinum armor. You used to need, I think it was like 90 bars. But as you can see, 20, uh, 50, 75. You only need 75 bars now. I mean, that still sounds like a lot, but it's, it's better than 90 bars, isn't it? <laughs> we need to get some epic stuff on our person. Get ourselves some epic gear. You guys know how we roll at this point. So, let's see about making these bad boys. Oh, just one? Really? Oh, man. Uh, what was the limiting factor there? I don't know. All right, well, yeah. We're going to be smart about this. Where do we want to use this thing? In the jungle? I mean, it's going to be hella nasty in the jungle over there, right? However, if we make ourselves maybe one of these bad boys, in addition to using one of our pumpkin pies, we should have ourselves a whole bunch of defense. Ooh. I like it. I like it, guys. All right. We are going to head to the jungle, okay? We're going to do a jungle episode today. We're probably going to die about 17,443 times. But it's all in the name of upgrading our gear, okay? It's as simple as that. I just want to upgrade my gear. I want to get some amazing stuff, all right? So here we go. All right, guys. Check it out. Our first chest of the episode. And what do you know? A warding flipper. That is very, very good. You want to know why that's very good? Four more defense. Hey, so we've got four defense on this bad boy. Uh, clown the bottle, that's always going to be useful. Anklet of the wind, I think, might be the thing I take off for now in favor of four extra defense. Yeah, so we've got warding climbing claws, warning flipper, and four more defense from the shackle. Hey, we're not doing too bad, are we, guys? In terms of defense, we're not doing too bad. Oh, interesting. So these bone javelins, they seem to do six additional damage every second or so. I didn't know they did that. Wow. Okay, so the more you attach to them as well, the more damage it appears to do. So there we go. Look at that. 12 damage now. 
Whoa. Can you imagine using that against the Eye of Cthulhu or just any boss? It kind of reminds me of the Daybreak very much later on in the game, right? You know, the more things you have attached to it, the more damage over time it does. Damn. You know what? I love the fact that after all of these years, I am still learning new things about this game. I think that's absolutely fantastic. What do we think, guys? I think it's buff time. Uh, what? Hello? It is buff time, ladies and gentlemen. We do have ourselves a minecart rail here. I'm very, very nervous for it potentially leading me to one of those pressure uh, plate things. Has this happened before, hasn't it, my friends? If it's happened once... Uh, huh! If it's happened once, it can happen again. So, oh, guys, that was a dead man's chest. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, so yeah, I should have dismantled all of the traps and not just the explosive ones. Damn it! I just lost all of my buffs. Ah, the limiting factor before was blink root. We only had one. We've only got one now. So we can have one more speed lunk potion, which is very nice. And of course, we'll have ourselves another one of these bad boys just so we have some defense. Ah, oh, would you look at that? We've got some coffee. Nice. Gotta love it, my friends. All right, well, we're starting to slowly get back to the point where we were. No. Ah! All right, let's try and avoid that guy like the freaking plague real quick. And let's get back to where we died, huh? Okay, right. So, we've already set off the boulder trap that is there, right? So, what that means is we should just need to take out the other traps, and then I think we're going to be okay, okay? Right. So, let's go ahead and do this thing. Let's try and do this with logic. That would be great. Oh, God, there's so many people. Oh, I don't like it anymore. Um... Maybe I just, like, dig underneath it? Maybe that'll be the way we do this, actually. That seems like a pretty good idea, you know? We gotta, we gotta be full of good ideas if we're going to survive this thing. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Well, there goes the water. So, let's just go and place down one of these things, and boof. Ha-ha! Dead man's sweater? What?! I didn't even know that was a thing. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm getting anxiety from this. <laughs> oh boy! All right, we've got to be careful. Since I now know that pressure, pressure plate minecart tracks exist, yeah, we, we got to be careful, huh? Oh man, look at that! 15 damage over time. It's such a good weapon, man! I can't wait to use this against bosses. Truly, look at that! It's still doing a ton of damage, man. I'd love to know what the max amount. Of damage over time you can do is for God's sake Duh! Let's get out of here man. All right. There's a chest up there. Good. Oh, that's always nice to see There's a heart crystal up here as well, right? Is this trapped? No, it's not. All right. What have we got? We got a mace a superior mace Okay, I mean that's better than nothing. I suppose I will absolutely take this bad boy. Hey All right, and we're gonna continue right on Okay, come on, baby. What else you got around here, Mr. Jungle? Huh? We just continue up here. We might just find ourselves a little something-something. I don't know. If we find any gold, I'm going to do my best to... Oh, okay. That's good to see. All right, so we got ourselves a beehive there. That is very, very good to see, in fact. All right, guys, time to explore the other side of this minecart rail. He's hoping that we get just a little something-something. That might be useful to our cause. Uh, the jungle spores are definitely going to be a pretty nice thing to have, I would say. Because if we want to make ourselves a nice set of magic armor, then, yeah, we're definitely going to need it. Hey, broski, how you doing? Get out of here. There we go. Javelins. Cool. I like it. What do we got? We got a piano. We got a bunny statue. And a singular magic mirror. Very nice. Hey, I'm a big fan of that, actually. Okay, so we've got ourselves a bookshelf as well. I'm actually going to take the bookshelf, just in case we want to make ourselves any spells. You know? All right, and then what we're going to do is we are going to try to get over to the heart crystal. Ha-ha! It's the javelin wars! What are you going to do, huh? My bone javelin are no freaking match for you guys! <laughs> I mean, I don't mind the, the regular javelin, though. That's kind of cool. I feel like we're going for a little bit of a throne setup right now. 
I kind of like that. All right. Well, oh god, there's a there's like a death statue over there. Okay. Right. Once again. Yeah. Not today, sir. Not today, sir. Not today, sir. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Goodbye. 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 Hey, Mr. Bat. Goodbye, Mr. Bat. Oh, wow. God, hell's blazes. Here we are, my friends. Right back to where we just died. Okay, right. Let's try and take these buttholes out of the game. And then I'm... Uh, and then I'm going to try to get the life crystal and get the hell out of here. As soon as humanly possible, basically. Here we are. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Wormy. I hear you. And now you're dead. <laughs> hey, gold. Nice. Hey, get out of here. Think you're smart, do you? You know what? I would not mind trying to get a depth meter and or a compass from these guys. Or both. You know, on extremely rare occasions, I'm pretty sure you can get both drop at the same time. That'd be kind of cool, right? Yeah. Get out of here. No one likes you. No one likes you at all. Oh, these stupid bats. Honestly, I would have to say that bats are probably the most annoying kind of mob in this game. I hate them so much. They just get everywhere, don't they? They really do. They're just a pain in the butt. Hey, well, there's a compass, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Oh, my word. Suddenly, there's like 500 dudes who want to kill me. Oh, I mean, doesn't seem... Oh, for God's sake. Doesn't seem much different from normal, let's be honest, but still... Yeah, oh god, I don't like these guys. There's way too many of these folks. Oh, whoa, their throw distance is a little bit far for my liking. All right, come on, you freaking hop like buttholes. I'm going to kill you all. Yeah, yeah. That's how we roll. Give me those javelins. All mine now. <laughs> oh, interesting. This is going to sound really stupid, but I didn't realize you could just hold down the click and it would use the javelin. I always thought you had to actually click yourself to have the thing be used, but, uh, no. Oh, sweet, a bazaar! That's actually gonna be a freaking game changer right there, guys. No longer will we ever get poisoned. <laughs> Finally! A decent freaking, uh, accessory. Not that I'm saying all the other ones aren't decent, but the fact that we are now immune to poison, that's, that's pretty darn cool, right? Well, guys, before our almost certain death again, we are going to try to explore as much as we can here. And also trying to get rid of as much of the death stuff as possible, including even thorns. Stupid stuff like that. They just do damage. Damages my ability to regen health, you know? We just need to be careful. Super freaking careful! Oh, yeah, and then there's those buttholes. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. 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 Yeah, look at these guys. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? You're not the only one who's got a ranged attack, are you? You son of a gun. <laughs> oh, snappers. Yet another heart crystal, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, I'll tell you what. End of episode goal, 400 max health. That would be absolutely fantastic, I would say. I think that's a very good goal to go for, in fact. It'll be about freaking time we did it as well. At uh, long last, ladies and gentlemen, our first shrine for today's episode. Hey! A free Eye of Cthulhu spawn. Nice. Okay, I can see a chest over to my left-hand side as well. That's pretty nice. If that isn't a trap chest, then I'm the freaking Pope. I mean, look at the amount of dart traps. Oh my god, there's like four boulder traps there as well. <laughs> Baby! Man, that's looking nasty. Hey, come on. There you go. You've expired. Let's try and think about this logically, okay? We'll get rid of the dark traps. There's four boulder traps. Are you freaking kidding me? There's four boulder traps. Insanity, guys. Absolute insanity. Right, let's try and think about this, okay? Get rid of this. There we go. Oh, son of a gun. No, 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 no. A little bit of health for me. There we go. Fantastic. All right, and now we've got these butt heads. Oh, these spike slimes. I know I said that uh, bats are one of my least favorite mobs, but uh, these guys are definitely up there, ladies and gents. They are definitely up there. Right, let's see if we can do this. Rid. Rid. Uh, can't get those ones. They're a little bit too far away. But here we go. Let's see, take these guys out. Yeah. All right. I can take that out. Okay. And then I think that's all the boulder traps. Yay. Sweet. Ah. Hey, little fairy. Okay, so at the moment... Oh, wait. Oh, we did find something. Ah, 
I was wondering why he was going really, really slow. Usually when that happens, it's because they haven't found anything, but, uh... No! There we go. Water chest. Let's see what you got. Uh, another shark bait pet. <laughs> Alright, my friends. After this, we have only two life crystals left to get. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I always feel like the jungle is, like, one of the best places to find heart crystals. Just period. I don't know if there's, like, any actual thing behind that. Like, whether there's, like, an actual multiplier to how much it generates heart crystals in jungles compared to other biomes. But I honestly feel like jungles are one of the greatest places to find these things. So, yeah. That's why you'll almost always see speedrunners going for the jungle biome as soon as possible. Like, there's just a, a, an insane amount of great stuff you can get from jungles. Not just heart crystals, but also chests and, I don't know, all sorts of other stuff. Materials for magic armor. There's just, there's so much to the jungle, isn't there? When you really think about it, there's a lot of stuff going on. Ah, uh, look at all these guys getting javelined. Get out of here. You see, the only thing is about using all these bone javelins is the fact that we're going to need more, right? So, it is going to be a good idea if we manage to get ourselves a slightly more industrial amount of freaking desert fossils, right? The more sturdy fossils we have, the more we have the ability to get some epic stuff, you know? So, uh, shoe spikes. I mean, okay, so that could go on there. Fantastic. I will go ahead and chop that bad boy up. And I'm just going to use this dynamite because why not? It means that it's no longer in my inventory, I guess. <laughs> ah, yes. Get blown up, jungle. Frankly speaking, you deserve it, you son of a gun. Oh, hell yeah. Nature's gift, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. And also, I should mention, I've, I've noticed that I think... The highest amount of damage over time that those bone javelin can do is 18. So, yeah. I haven't seen it go up to 21. It's only ever gone up to 18 uh, from what I've seen anyway. So, yeah. All right. You can get out of it. There's a life crystal up there. Very nice. I will go ahead and grab that. I will explore that tree in just a second as well. Don't worry. I'm not forgetting, guys. I'm not forgetting. There we go. Look at that. All right. One more, guys. And we are just about there. Uh, can that go on my... Yep. There we go. Fantastic. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh my god! It's freaking man eater country! What the crap, dude? I have not seen that amount of freaking man eaters before. <laughs> that is nightmare fuel right there. Are you guys seeing this? Man! That is not a cool visual, bro! <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, we gotta be real careful. Jesus Christ. Well, the good news is I don't think any of these man-eaters could even get over here. So let's go and see what we've got. Uh, silver bars. Yeah, I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, we have so many sandcastle buckets and these uh, shark bait pets. We just don't need that many. I'm keeping all the seeds because it's just a good idea to. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Ivy chest. Loki, I kind of want to take all of those guys out. But at the same time... I don't want to die horrifically, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and stay away from them. <laughs> for the for the simple fact that we only have one more life crystal to get, I'm not about to die this close to my goal, okay? That would be a major heartbreaker. <laughs> well, there's, this is one way we could take out all of the man-eaters. I wasn't actually intending on doing this, as I just mentioned, but uh, here we are, once again demonstrating the true prowess of the bone javelins. If you guys have never made bone javelins before... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here you are, my friends. This is just how amazing they really are. They're really quite good. Really, really quite good. Yeah, get out of here. There we go. And you. Go on, out of here. Oh, yeah. Vine country. Hey, little hornet. Out of here, son. There we go. I mean, if we don't have enough materials to make ourselves the full magic set of jungle armor, I don't know what the hell is wrong with this game. I feel like I've been down here for like 17 years. Oh, snap! Ancient Cobalt Chestplate. Hell yeah, I'm gonna take that. The only thing is... Ah! My inventory is running really quite bad. Uh, wait, did we even pick that up? Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. Six defense increases mana by 20. Nice. All right, come on, baby. Due to the amount of... Uh, the, the sheer amount of... Oh, my God! Yeah, don't worry. There's just almost certain death down there. Did I see anything? Uh, nope, just cobwebs. I don't know, man. I don't feel like going down there is going to be in my best interests, especially in terms of surviving. 
Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and avoid that area. Come on. One heart crystal. Can't be that difficult, right? Oh, guys. Ah! Oh, hey, hey. Okay, you reached a little bit further than I first thought you would, sir. All right, definitely got to be careful of that. But yeah, guys, look at that. There's the final heart crystal down there, and it's like full on guarded by these guys. What the hell? Oh, you don't know what? There's a there's an easy way of doing this. Get bombed, you sons of guns! Yay! That's how we roll, baby. That's how we roll. Get out of here. Ah, oh, I'm kind of guessing where they are at this point. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that guy's dead. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay, that guy's dead. Uh, okay, my health is actually kind of alright, to be honest. Uh, okay. I mean, it is just hornets at this point. Hey, we actually blew the thing up as well. Okay, if we do this quick. Okay, and we're out of here! Ah, <laughs> uh, how about that for a clutch finish, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> you didn't think I was capable of it, did you? You thought I was just gonna flat out die, huh? Yeah. Well, in your face, suckers! <laughs> nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there we have it, my friends. We have gotten ourselves so much epic stuff today. I am, I'm real happy, actually. I'm real happy. Yeah, we've done a whole bunch, but you know what? It was all in the name of uh, cool stuff. Yeah, cool stuff. Gotta love the cool stuff. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. Guys, next episode at the start, we'll go ahead and see what we can make with all of the epic stuff we've got today. But for now, my friends, because we're running a little bit long, we're going to end the episode right here. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.